So today I'll be playing Shinobi Striker, and um, then character Kawaki came out on February 4th, and I've finally finished um, leveling him up, so now I can claim all the rewards. Gotta get all those shurikens so you can unlock his jutsu and outfits and things. Okay, so this is all the stuff that you can get from leveling this up, and uh, actually not too many costume pieces in this one. Mostly just new jutsu, a title, um, one costume piece, and a scientific ninja tool. Alright, so now that I have all that unlocked, let's go equip his jutsu and see how it works in battle. So all his jutsu are for the attack type. So we'll equip the first one. Karma Lichpin. And the second one, Imperial Wrath. And no new... Oh wait, here's a... No, I don't think that's part of it though. I don't think I got any um, new substitution jutsu from that. That's from something else. And for his ultimate, we have the Karma Lichpin Ritual Destruction. So let's equip that. Okay, and let's go see what these jutsu can do in battle. So we'll do a solo mission, maybe rank B, so it's not too difficult, but not too easy. And we'll take on Gamakichi. Okay, so there's the boss. Okay, Jutsu number two is pretty cool. Um... And it refreshes fast too. Let's try that one again. Okay, 
Okay, so it looks like the first Jutsu helps my chakra charge faster for my ultimate. Okay, so now we have enough for our ultimate jutsu, and let's get real close and hit the boss with it. Oh, looks like it hit one of the enemies instead, but uh, still looks pretty cool. Alright, and the boss is down. So let's actually find out what these jutsu really do. So whenever a new character comes out with like new jutsu and stuff, I never actually bother reading the descriptions until after I've used the new jutsu for myself. Because I like the idea of just jumping into battle with these new uh, skills and um, seeing what they can do without like reading anything about them first. It's just more fun for me to just go into battle and see how they work. Okay, so Karma Lichpin, Strange Taste. 
on hold and nearby allies are invincible to ninjutsu and uh, ninja tools resets enemy ninjutsu and uh, drains their secret technique gauge if those are disabled the, the user's ninjutsu cooldown is reduced Except for strange taste, gauge plus damage increased. Okay, so that's pretty good. This jutsu looks like it'd be better if I was actually playing on a team, but I was doing a solo mission. So, Imperial Wrath um, transforms the user's right arm into a shield f for a tackle that nullifies all the attacks except for secret techniques and resets the target's substitution stock. Users can act freely and follow up after tackling. Okay, so that one it was uh, a lot of fun to try out. And uh, let's take a look at the ultimate. The user rushes an enemy and strikes with a single fist while using a ninja tool to pierce the enemy. These attacks are followed by a karma lichpin that explodes and inflicts massive damage over a wide area. Yeah, the ultimate was pretty good too. Oh, and I never equipped the new um, ninja tool. Let's try out this one really fast. Because I always use the uh, Rasengan ninja tool, which I still think is the best ninja tool option that you can possibly equip. over the others, but um, this one's new, so maybe it'll impress me. So I'll pick a really simple mission so it ends a lot faster. あの芸術博覧会に来客かせっかく来たんだ存分に遊んでいけよ。うん。何金はいらねえ。代わりにオイラのために爆発してくれればいいだけだ。なんかとんでもないこと言ってるね。芸術家には刺激が必要なんだ
まだやって行き残るとはな。あれ、お前たちが粘ってくれたせいで、粘土が突き詰まったじゃねえか。まあいい。ここらで芸術博覧会は起きて。いや、もっと派手にやってやるからな。絶対見に来いよ。うん。い
A throwing scientific ninja tool modeled after those used by Kawaki. Larger and heavier than a kunai. It naturally inflicts more damage, but has a shorter range and no additional effects. Alright, and that covers uh, the new DLC character, Kawaki.